Hi there, my name is Dr. Matthew Went with Ortho Carolina. Today, I'm going to talk about how bones heal. When we have a broken bone, also known as a fracture, the body does an amazing job of repairing the break and allowing us to return to doing the things that we like to do. There are two different processes that our bodies use to heal broken bones. The first is called direct or primary bone healing. Our body usually uses this method when a fracture is surgically repaired and stabilized. The most straightforward example of direct bone healing is when a fracture is surgically repaired with a plate and screws. This repair is very stable and rigid, and the ends of the broken bones are held together tightly with no motion at the fracture site. This allows the bone cells, called osteoblasts, to bridge the gap and knit the bone together directly end to end. You could think of this like a welder directly attaching two pieces of metal together at a seam. The second process is called indirect or secondary bone healing. Our body uses this process when a fracture is treated in a cast or a sling and allowed to heal without surgery. Secondary bone healing occurs when a fracture like a broken wrist or ankle is treated in a cast. There's usually a slight gap at the site of the broken bone and there is some motion at that gap because the cast does not keep the bones completely still. When a bone is broken, the gap between the ends fills up with blood and inflammatory fluid called a hematoma. The cells in the hematoma and in the broken bone ends send signals to the repair cells in our body that then swarm to the site of the injury. Over time, the repair cells convert the collection of hematoma to a flexible cartilage substance we call callus. This callus is then, over a matter of weeks, converted into bone, bridging the gap between the bone ends. One way to think about this is gluing together a broken base. The glue starts off soft, but eventually gets hard and fixes the crack. The final stage of bone healing is called remodeling, where the body reshapes the callus to closely resemble the pre-injury form of the broken bone. When this process is complete, the bone is just as strong or stronger than before the injury. This is how our body heals broken bones. Thank you for your time.